Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and today I wanted to talk about a topic that has been swirling for a couple of weeks now. Ever since we had the announcement of the Scarlet and Violet DLC and the reveal of Terrapagos, the little baby turtle Pokemon, there has been a flurry of speculation about what this Pokemon might be, what its role in the story of Area Zero was, and what we're going to learn about it in the expansion. Well, a lot of this speculation and rumor was furthered when we saw a form of Terrapagos Ghost revealed in the new Pokemon anime. It looks very similar, but we do not know what its direct connection is yet. A lot of people have been speculating about what the typing of this Pokemon white might be and how it connects to the story, and I think I have the answer. So with that, let's jump right into the discussion. Now, there has been a lot of speculation based on Terrapagos' design, based on the lore we know about Scarlet and Violet. A lot of discussion about what this Pokemon's type is going to be, and how this type relates to the Terra uh, phenomenon, the terastalizing, and how everything connects to the story of Scarlet and Violet. We saw in Area Zero and in Heath's journal, a Pokemon that was manipulating him, manipulating and giving him formulas, and basically driving the story of how Paradox Pokemon come to be, and how we eventually get the time machine at the climax of Scarlet and Violet. Then we add Terrapagos Unveiled, the Indigo Disc Pokemon. This Pokemon currently has an unknown type. We don't know how it connects to the baby form revealed in the anime. We don't know what its connection is to the story. We don't even fully know if this Pokemon is the turtle that was displayed in the books about what is going on with Paldea and with Heath and with Area Zero. Is it a form? Is it just alluding to this new type of this new Pokemon. We don't know all of this information yet, but on Terrapagos' design on the shell in its back, it displays all of the type images, the icons for all of the various types in Pokemon. This has led some people to speculate that, well, maybe Terrapagos is a brand new type. Maybe it's a type that is the base of all other types, while other people have speculated that maybe it's going to be a normal type. Normal is its own type, of course, just like every other type, just like fire and grass and electric. I'm not not breaking any barriers here, but it is seen almost as like a mono type, as like a type that can have attributes from various types. I personally think that normal or water is probably what Terrapagos is going to end up being. Water is kind of a cheat assumption, just its coloring, it's the fact that it's a turtle. All of this would lead some people to think it's water, but if I had to make a bet, I would think it's going to be normal type. A lot of people have speculated that maybe this is Game Freak introducing a brand new type or some new type gameplay element to the game since Terrapagos has some sort of connection to the fact that when you terastalize your Pokemon, seemingly a phenomenon linked to Terrapagos, the Pokemon's type changes. You can get Terra-type Pokemon with a variety of different types for all of the Pokemon you encounter in raids. You can change your Pokemon's Terra-type in the game. All of this is what we've had since Scarlet and Violet came out. I don't think that's the case, though. I think Terrapagos is going to have two distinct abilities in Pokemon once we get access to it. I think it's going to be similar to Silvalli, similar to Arceus, and other normal type Pokemon, in that its type is going to be able to change based on an item. I think that item is also going to change what it terastalizes into. I think that if I had to take a guess, based on all of the information we have presented to us, we have three different Terrapagos to this point. We have the main form with all of the types on its shell that we had revealed in the Scarlet and Violet DLC trailer. We have the sketch of a massive, what looks to be a space turtle. <laughs> you can see planets outside of it that seems to also be Terrapagos. It references the idea of the world turtle. This is stuff that you can find on Bulbapedia and other things. People have put together a lot of the references that Game Freak seems to have taken inspiration for. And then you have the baby Terrapagos unveiled in the anime. We don't know if it is a pre-evolution a la a Cosmog and a Cosmome just yet, or if it is something similar to Deontzi and how it is connected to Carbink. We don't know yet. They're teasing it. They're teasing that this connection is a mystery, but we don't have full information just yet. But if I had to theorize and make a prediction, I think that baby Terrapagos 
is an evolution that evolves into Terrapagos. I think it's an evolution. I think they're teasing us. I think they're making discussion, but I think it's an evolution. I don't think it's a form like Carbank. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. I think they're too similar, and I think there's there's too many things that they're teasing here with the, the crystalline ability to block attacks that we saw in the anime with baby Terrapagos. I think they're teasing that pretty hard. When Terrapagos evolves through terastalizing, which isn't real evolution, but when it terastalizes, I think it takes on this space turtle form. I think that just like we saw with Gigantamaxing and Pokemon Sword and Shield, just like we had with Mega Evolution in X and Y and Sun and Moon and Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, I think this is its form when it terastalizes. And I think it's going to take on the type of whatever item it is holding. There's going to, it's either going to be one of two things. It's going to be an item that allows it to change its type to whatever type you want when you terastalize. And in gameplay, you're going to be able to select the type from a menu. And when it takes on this large space turtle form, it's going to terastalize into that type. Or there's going to be like what we have with Arceus and the plates, where there's going to be plates for every single type, for all 18 types. And depending on what item you give Terrapagos, when it terastalizes into its giant space turtle uh, ruler of worlds form, it's going to take on that type. I think its base is going to be normal type, and from there, it's going to be able to terastalize into all 18 types. Now, what this connection has to the rest of Area Zero's story, how it connects to Paradox Pokemon and why Paradox Pokemon exist, that's a much deeper question because it feels as if, to me, we're dealing with two different stories here. We're dealing with the Paradox Pokemon and how they came into existence and why the time machine exists. Then we're dealing with what terastalization is and how it connects to Pokemon typings and the, the biology of Pokemon and how it's able to happen. I think we're dealing with two different things here, and I think we're going to get answers to both of them in the story of the expansion for Scarlet and Violet. So I think we're dealing with three different Pokemon, all the same, an evolution and a pre-evolution, and then a giant form, a terastalized form. I'm going to reference something here, some leaks. I don't normally cover leaks on the channel, so I want to make people aware that these are leaks that I'm going to mention from Riddler Koo. Riddler Koo is an infamous Pokemon leaker. He has been leaking information about upcoming Pokemon games for a couple generations. So if you do not want to see his, his tweets and you don't want to hear my reference to them because it, it bakes into my larger theory, then this is the part where you're going to click off the video. Okay? We good? Okay. So, Riddler Koo leaked a lot of stuff that turned out to be true about this generation. He leaked a lot of stuff that turned out to be true about Sword and Shield. He is generally a reliable source and has some kind of inside knowledge into what is happening with Pokemon. To what veracity everything he says is true, we don't know, but he has hit on some things. One of the things that he has said about this expansion is that there's going to be new forms for terastalized Pokemon. This is similar to the Gigantamax phenomenon. So if we take this and we extrapolate and what they could give us with this, it connects pretty well to the three different turtles we have seen. It explains, for the most part, why the official artwork of Terrapagos is this cute little turtle with a nice tail and you can see all its typings, but the Pokemon that we see in the sketchbook is an enormous turtle that is, while in a different part of the, of the image, is larger than some planets in the background. And just, it looks almost like a turtle sitting on a world with a crown going across it. So these are very different Pokemon, but this is how we can connect these two things. This is a terastalized form. This is maybe the origin of terastalization. Maybe the turtle is outputting some energy that is causing this phenomenon and the energy harnessed in the time machine is how we get paradox Pokemon. There's a lot of speculation here, a lot of time travel stuff that we just, at the moment, don't have good answers to. But I think the fact that we do know from some leaks that we're going to get new forms through terrestrialization in this DLC does lead me to believe that it is a connection with Terrapagos. So what do you guys think? 
about my typing prediction, about the mechanic that I think we're going to be able to use with Terrapagos, how it could break the metagame, let me know down in the comments section below. If you have your own theories about Terrapagos and what's going on with the DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, let me know that below as well. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it in the future, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss future content. My name has been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.